And EDC continues to let y'all know your fans need to chill out. I got this. Today, it was announced that EDC and the Baltimore Ravens, they re-signed long snapper Nick Moore on a two-year, $2.5 million deal. So take that, buddy. He ain't going nowhere. But seriously, though, long snapping is important because you know the results of a bad long snapper. Like, that would mess up Justin Tucker. That would mess up uh, Jordan Stout. That would mess up all the special teams. And you know the Ravens, like, you can mess up in a lot of areas, but you mess up on special teams, that's the final straw, buddy. But anyway, Nick Moore, welcome back. Jeff Zrebit. He said uh, the Ravens are re-signing long snapper Nick Moore to a two-year, $2.5 million deal. Moore was non-tendered as a restricted free agent yesterday. He had interest elsewhere. So was people looking. People were like, hey, are you available? What's up? But he wanted to stay in Baltimore. Now, I know y'all didn't come here for that, though. I know y'all didn't come here for that, even though, hey, that's a nice little bonus, though, right? Ravens keep that long snapper. So, Odell Beckham Jr., the reports have been coming out that Odell Beckham Jr. wants around 15 to 20 million per year. I'm like, whoa, I don't think you're getting that, my friend. I like you. I love, love your energy. Know you can make some plays, but 15 to 20 mil coming off of ACL. You ain't played all last year. I don't think you're getting that, my friend. But we'll see how it goes down. But um, it, it came out that the. Um, Odell Beckham Jr., he got some, he's gaining some, garnering some interest, excuse me. The Cowboys, it came out that the Cowboys are interested in Odell Beckham Jr. They've been maintaining dialogue with Odell Beckham Jr. for a while, and it's been known that they are looking to add another receiver to what they already got. Say hello to them Cowboys. But anyway, um, it also came out from Jordan Schultz. He said, add the Ravens and the Chiefs to the list of teams showing interest in Odell Beckham Jr. Per sources. Uh, a couple more potentially uh, as well, while the Cowboys also remain interested. So the Ravens, Ravens still keeping tabs on Odell Beckham Jr. And I ain't mad at that at all. I ain't mad at it at all. Um, but the thing that concerns me, the thing where I'm not going to get like all hyped about, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. obviously because nothing's official yet. But if they got to compete with the Chiefs for signing Odell Beckham Jr., I don't think they have a chance. Um, and the reason I say that is because the Ravens could even offer more money. They could offer more money than the Chiefs. They could offer more guaranteed money, more overall money. Shout out to guaranteed money. But they could, they could offer more money than the Chiefs. But Odell Beckham Jr. could look at the Ravens situation. Man, who, who's going to be throwing me the ball? I don't even know who's going to be throwing me the ball. He don't know. Yeah, he got an offensive coordinator that he worked with before. That's great. But he only, and the, yeah, he cool Rashad Bateman. That's great. But I'm sure he got love for Lamar Jackson too. But he don't even know if Lamar Jackson's going to be there. Ravens don't even know if Lamar Jackson's going to be there. So if he looked at the Chiefs, he could look at them and be like, oh, Patrick Mahomes locked up for a long time. He ain't going nowhere. Okay. Wow. Juju was just there. And, and Juju, he he got the help them win the Super Bowl. They got two Super Bowls in the past, what, five five years, I think? Ooh, oh, you know what? That, yeah, let, let me go there. Let, let me Because I, I just think the Chiefs, they, they have that. Well, not even. I think they have that advantage over the Ravens. Because all that stuff is facts. That ain't, that's not opinion-based at all. Everything that the Chiefs have been accomplishing, the fact that they got their quarterback situation taken care of, people could look at that, especially wide receivers. They could look at that and be like, ooh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'll side with them. Um, so I just, we'll see. We'll see. Hope, hope for the best. But with Odell Beckham Jr., I, I can't realistically expect something to happen with that. I, I can't, and I think it would be just unrealistic to expect anything to happen. Hope for some, hey, that'd be great, but I, I just don't see it going down. Now, uh, good news, Geno Stone. The Baltimore Ravens, they reached an agreement with safety Geno Stone. Now, Geno was somebody who I didn't expect him to go anywhere. I, I didn't expect him to be going. Um, we all did expect Chuck Clark to be going. He expected Chuck Clark to be going actually last year, but it didn't happen. So this year, certainly, we all expected him to be going. Well, most people expected him to be going. Um, but with Geno Stone, uh, he's somebody that's been solid. Uh, he's been a good backup. And I think with, with more experience, with, um, with a bigger role, a more consistent role, I think he could blossom and just continue to get even better. 
Um, this is a big opportunity that he has right now, um, especially being able to play that, that deep safety. Because uh, obviously we got Marcus Williams, but Chuck Clark. Chuck Clark was roaming back there as well. Kyle Hamilton, not so much. Kyle Hamilton was more closer to the line of scrimmage a lot of last year, playing a lot of slot corner too. I expect him to continue that this year because it's one of those things um, – where you don't want to fix what's not broken. And I think uh, my guy, I think it was my guy Sedarian that brought that up. He said, don't change Hemi. Um, and a question from a subscriber like a week or two ago, um, just basically saying like, hey, Kyle Hamilton, what he did last year, he did a really good job of it. So don't try to change it. Uh, even though the Ravens could add to his plate, uh, I mean, he's a first round draft pick. So you, want, <laughs> you, expect, uh, you expect his plate to continue to be added too. Um, so yeah, we'll see what happens with that. But the fact that they bring in Geno Stone back, that's a good thing. That 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 is a good thing, uh, in in my opinion. I think that is a a, a good move. Um, especially with Chuck Clark being gone. Uh this allows you you still got Ardarius Washington too, I think, but he really just hasn't really been playing too much. Um, but with Geno Stone and you remember the Geno Stone story? Remember Ravens draft him, Ravens cut him, he goes to Texans, Texans cut him, he comes back to Ravens. And and he's been with the Ravens ever since, um, but yeah, I like it. I I I, I like that move. Um, somebody who can be a starter, uh, but somebody who can come fill in. You know, the Ravens they're probably going to continue having the three safeties on the field all at the same time, so that gives you more flexibility. Um, it gives it allows you to do more on defense. Um, and they just they play so different from each other, like Marcus Williams versus Kyle Hamilton versus Geno Stone. But they all complement each other well. So I think that was a good move, smart move, bringing him back. Um, more depth, more quality depth, and, and again, a, a even potential starter too. So I like it. Anyway, team keep it clean. I like y'all. As a matter of fact, I don't like y'all. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Special shout out to all of y'all. And just like Geno Stone isn't any longer, and neither is Nick Moore any longer, and neither was Justice Hill. Well, he ain't even get to make it a free agency, so can't say any longer for him. But anyway, we out.